Oneness in about two minutes. Nowadays, it's easy to look around and see people try to define God for themselves. Well, let's see what the Bible says. The Bible says God is one person and his name one. There's one saving name and that name is Jesus. Without it, there's no remission of sins because one man died for you, the man Christ Jesus. But some people misunderstand the Bible and confuse titles as people or names. So they mistake God's relationship to us as him being divided in many parts. But God is not divided because a title is not a name. See, I can be a father, son, husband, brother, uncle, cousin, nephew, but I'm only one man, not seven. God is our father in creation. He came as a son of redemption and he's the Holy Holy Spirit that comes in and comforts us, but he's still one person, not two, three, or a thousand. Since God is a spirit, he's immortal and can't die. So he chose Mary, a righteous living woman, and used her to come into this world and prepared his body made of a woman, hence the term son, and died for our sins and purchased the church with his own blood. Now that's personal. God himself was manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles, believed on in the world, received up in the glory. The world was made by him, and the world knew him not. The word was God, made flesh, and dwelt among us. The only begotten of the Father. In him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. He came to his own, and his own did not receive him. Who came? Isaiah 43 and 1, God said to Israel, you are mine. God came to them in flesh personally. The reason many people mistake titles for names is because over a hundred years after the Bible was written, false prophets began to mix their pagan ideas with the truth about God. Since pagan religions were full of trinities, false prophets wanted to please those offended by the truth, so they tried to make God a trinity or three people. But he's not. He's only one in one person, Jesus. Jesus told his apostles, apostles, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. When they were all filled with the Holy Ghost, they were all filled with Jesus. That's why Jesus said, ye call me master and Lord, and ye say well, for so I am. That's why God told Saul, I am Jesus. Ancient Hebrews knew God is one. In Hebrew, the beginning of the Shema, aka Deuteronomy 6, 4, says, hear Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord is one. When a scribe asked Jesus, which is the first commandment of all, Jesus quoted the Shema, hear Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord is one. According to Jesus, our Lord and Savior, the first commandment above every Every other commandment given to men by God is to accept his oneness, not divide him, and love him with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. And he emphasized the second time, this is the first commandment. To really understand God's oneness, you have to be born again. Jesus told Nicodemus, except a man be born again, he cannot see or perceive the kingdom of God. Watch these videos to learn more or simply obey Acts 2.38 and let God reveal himself to you. For video requests, questions, or to contact me, write to ministerkunkel at gmail.com or facebook.com slash ministerkunkel, and I'll do my best to get back to you. God bless and subscribe for more.